Previously on the bill. It's James, no wonder you haven't been rushing back to the neck. Oh, Becky. Yeah, yeah, she's all right. So you won't mind if me and you go out for a drink tonight? What about tomorrow night instead? Yeah, yeah, tomorrow night's good. Okay then. Maybe. Go on in. Hey. In trouble with the law, Becky? This is PC Nate Roberts. He's our Safer Schools Officer. Laura Tambling. I'm one of the supply teachers. Nice to meet you, Laura. Yeah. I'm going to get going. I've got a ton of work to do. And if I don't get any caffeine first, I will implode. Catch you later, yeah? See ya. So, supply teacher. What? They bring you in when someone's ill? Yeah, more work than you think. I think some teachers take more sickies than their kids sometimes. Listen, I don't care what you think, yeah? If I want to bring my son to school, then I will. You should have come back here. Who are you anyway? Not your man! Is there a problem, gentlemen? No, not all. My friend and I, we're just having a quiet chat. Yeah. And it's over. Dad. Should have stayed away, Jermaine. Ain't fair. Who was that bloke? Just get yourself in the school, Carlton, yeah? Dad, who was it? Just do it. You OK? Yeah. It's nothing. Really. Come on in. What was that all about, then? No. I want the project completed and end by 4pm tomorrow. Do you understand? OK. Jimmy? Jimmy? What's wrong with him? I've just had to give him another detention. His homework's all over the place. Still? I'm mm, afraid so. I thought we were getting somewhere with him. We don't seem to be. A few extra hours after school should help that, though. So, still on for tonight? Tonight. Yeah, a treat. Oh, I've got a photography class this evening. Photography? Yeah, it's a hobby of mine. I wish I could squeeze in an extra drink beforehand. What's going on here? He started it! Uh, she's not speaking to you. I don't know. I just walked in to find Carlton beating seven bells out of shawl. You, get to the medical room, get yourself cleaned up. Carlton, you're with me. You've got some explaining to do. Oi. Quiet down. Back to your seats. Calm, please. Calm. Is that that kid we saw earlier? Carlton Brooker. What was that all about? Are you OK? Yeah. Um. Thanks for coming in for such short notice. Please, take a seat. Hi, I'm PC Nate Roberts. We met before. Why are the police involved? I'm a safety schools officer. Shouldn't come down here. I can look after myself. Yeah, I know you can. That's the problem. Look, I have to say this, but does Carlton have a history of this kind of behaviour? Of course not. He's a good kid. Could this be connected with the row that happened earlier outside the school gates? What row? It was nothing. It's just some bloke who thought he knew me. Of course it's not connected. Why would it be? Well, the kid Carton assaulted was there when you were arguing. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I can't see how what happened this morning has anything to do with why we're here. So what was it all about, then? Carlton? Sean was giving me grief. That's all. He knows better now. You used to live in the borough before. Why is that relevant? Well, three schools in ten months is quite a lot. I've got family north of the river. We moved to be nearer. Then the credit crunch hit. We couldn't sell our flat, so I had to move back. This morning, the guy said you shouldn't have come back. What was that? Ask him. What happens now? Can I go back to my lesson? 
Yeah. But I need to be sure that this isn't going to happen again. Carlson, you're on report until half term. Don't worry. It won't cause you any more trouble. Will you, sir? Yeah, I've got something. Okay, he was questioned in connection to a rape. 18 months ago. What are the details? Just so he's brought in for questioning and released without charge. There's something else. Okay, we had some call outs to the Brooker's address. A few weeks later. What kind of call outs? Uh, graffiti, vandalism, that kind of thing. Okay, Millie, can you email me over everything you got, yeah? Will do. Did Sean let on whether he overheard anything outside the gates this morning? It's giving nothing away if he did. Except that he thinks Carlton's a loser. Nothing changes. You kid always gets in the neck. You think that's all it is? Ah, oh, once it's bad enough, this kid's had to deal with it twice in the same year. Can't blame him for snapping. What did you make of the parents? I don't know. Tense. A bit defensive. I'm still not convinced the two incidents this morning aren't connected. Sierra Oscar from 2-1, on scene of reported disturbance at 70 Silver Dean Way. from 212, we need an ambulance to 70 Silver Dean White male with head injuries. He's been hit. Looks like a blow to the back of the head. Jermaine Brooker. It's a guy Nate asked me about. Brooker, 34. It looks like he was strapped from behind. How bad was it? Serious. Paramedics are worried about damage to the skull. They managed to stabilise him, but it's critical. Any idea how he got in? Uh, front door was open when we got here. No sign of forced entry, no blood trail, so whatever happened, happened here. Nate Roberts said that Jermaine was involved in an argument down at Dean's Gate School this morning. What kind of argument? Some guy at the gates when Jermaine was dropping his son off. Next of kin? I've just spoken to Liz Brooker. She's on her way to St Hughes now. Yeah, I've radioed Nate. He's going to let the kid know. Mel, can you set up a cordon outside the front and then you and Millie get going on door to door? I'll get some more bodies down here. We'll need to do a search in case the weapon's been dumped. Mum. What do we know about Jermaine Brooker? Well, he doesn't have a criminal record, but he was brought in for questioning during a rape inquiry last year. What were the circumstances? Jermaine and a friend of his, Stephen Redway, picked up a young woman, a Stacey Hayes, in a bar. They all went back to Redway's flat, where Stacey was assaulted. What was Jermaine's involvement? None. He claims he was drunk, passed out in the next room. Stacey backed up his version of events. What happened when he went to court? Redway uh, got sent down, thanks in part to the evidence that Jermaine gave against him. But I doubt his influence extends beyond Longmarsh, but... I mean, according to this, he was a bit of a loner. He only knew Jermaine through work. What do we know about this incident at Deansgate this morning? Not a lot, but Nate Roberts got a good look at the fellow. Maybe he could give us a description. Right, well, the trial could be coincidental to this, so we do need to keep an open mind. Just one other thing. Uniform attended some incidents at Jermaine's flat last year. What sort of incident? Minor stuff, bricks through the window, graffiti, vandalism. Thing is, the Brooks moved out of the patch not long afterwards. Intimidation? Mm. Where to? Finsbury Park, they returned a fortnight ago. Why? Financial reasons, apparently. So the minute they get back, Jermaine gets bashed up. OK. Well, that's a lot of unanswered questions. We need to speak to Liz Brooker as a priority. She should be at St Hughes by now and chase up Nate. I want to know who the guy was at Deansgate this morning and what he was doing there. What are you doing, man? I told you. I just couldn't forget about this morning. This isn't about that. Then why did you pull me out of lessons in front of everyone? Come in here a moment. 
Are you sure you don't know who that bloke at the gates was this morning? No, I've never seen him before. Why? It's your dad. He's been hurt quite badly. How do you mean? It looks like he's been attacked. He's been taken to St. Hughes with serious head injuries. How serious? We don't know yet. Where's my mum? She's come down there now. Come on, I'll take you. This is Brooker. DC Fletcher, this is DC Masters from Sun Hill. How's Jermaine doing? Still in surgery. I'm worried about clotting on the brain. You got any idea who might have done this to him? No. We know about the trouble you had in the past. You've done your homework? Honestly, it's standard procedure in cases like this. So you'll uh, know all about the trial as well then? Yeah, yeah, we do, yeah. Is that why you moved away? Yeah. It's starting to escalate. Anonymous phone calls, abusive mail, that sort of stuff. I didn't want things getting any worse. No. Sure. Where's Dad? He's, uh, he's still with the doctors. I told you we shouldn't have come back. I can't, I can't. I had no choice, you know that. You won't listen to me. Now look what's happened. Carlton, stop it! We don't even know if this has got anything to do with the trial, okay? Hey, listen, why don't we um, sit down and make some notes, yeah? Come on. Come, on. come buddy. Mate, did you get a good look at the bloke at these guys today? Yeah. Mid-twenties, six-footer, fair hair, sharp grey suit, drove a blue Audi TT. Did you get the index? Oh, only partial. Uh, Victor Lima, Papa. I better head back to the school. How's it going over there? Look this way. Walking around the Jasmine and a naked with the words hit me tattooed across my forehead. Easier than this. Good luck, mate. We need to go and talk to Stacey Hayes. All right, Victor. You think she's connected to this? Well, according to Liz, the phone calls and the hate mail both referred to Stacey. Maybe someone thinks your name wasn't just an innocent bystander then. I'm DC Fletcher, this is DC Masters from Sun Hill. Are you Stacey Hayes? Yeah, what's happened? It's Jermaine Brooker. Someone's assaulted him, he's seriously ill in hospital. I'm genuinely sorry about Jermaine. I kind of hope we could all move on. And how are you coping? Yeah, I'm fine. Working again, I mean, just a bit of temping. I mean, obviously, it was a traumatic thing, and, yeah, it's taken time to deal with, but I made a choice. I didn't want it to become, like, a second surname, you know? Stacey Hayes, victim. What's going on, Stacey? Hi, we're from uh, Sun Hill CID. Just need to ask Stacey a few questions. Can I ask who you are? Uh, Stacey's brother, Liam. Jermaine Brooker's been attacked. He's in St. Hughes with serious head injuries, so... What's that got to do with us? Well, we think there might be connection to Stacey's trial. Why? I mean, I never had a problem with Jermaine. I wrote to him after the trial, thanking him for giving evidence. Look, I hate to have to ask you this, but... We need to know a little bit more about what happened that night. Do you really need to make her go through all of that again? No, it's all right, Liam. I'd been out with some mates for a drink, and these two guys... Simon Redway and Jermaine came over and started chatting us up. We had a few beers and then Redway suggested we went back to his place. As for what happened next... Look, I'll say it one more time, Jermaine wasn't involved. What about you, Liam? What's your take on Jermaine? If Stacey says he didn't touch her, then that's good enough for me. It's just we know a man confronted Jermaine at Deansgate Comprehensive this morning. I work in a building site in Browsford Square, mate. I clocked in at 8.30 this morning. You can check for yourselves. And could you have said something to someone which might have provoked them into doing that? No, of course not. I've put it all behind me. The last thing I want to do is dig it all up again. I'm, I'm really sorry about Jermaine, but I had nothing to do with it. Oh, she's impressive, and I'd say she's moving on. But I can't see any reason why she'd want to see Jermaine get hurt. Doesn't make any sense, though. If Stacey doesn't blame him, why would anyone else? Guilt by association. I mean, Jermaine was there that night. It's 
someone, that might be enough. What about our brother? Yeah, let's check out his alibi. Maybe look into Stacey's immediate circle of friends. You'd end up with that one. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Hey, nice office. Put yourself at home, why don't you? Mm. Don't worry, I already have. And you know what? I'm starting to see why you like it down here. I assume you're referring to me, DC Webb. I've got it for schoolboy innuendo. In fairness, though, I'm uh, happy to take the compliment. Listen, I was just taking Laura through Wads, seeing if we can identify that fellow you see this morning. You know? Well, I've managed to pull together a short list based on the partial index of that car and the description you gave. Laura's been helping me go through them. Wait, I think this might be him. Yeah? That's our guy. His name's Matt Gilbert. He's 27. He lives out near Woodley Heath. That's miles away from Jermaine's place, and Stacey's, for that matter. Yeah, I couldn't find an obvious link between either of them. And yet he was at Dean's Gate School this morning. Yeah, I did a PNC check on him as well. He's got form, apparently he smashed a bottle into the back of fellas head in a pub wall a couple of years ago. Well, Jermaine got done over the back of the head. Maybe he just lost his temper again this morning. Mm, got an address? Mm -hmm. I'll pass this on to Inspector West in uniform, can pick him up. You two go back to Lisbrook and find out if she can shed some light on this guy. How's he doing? He's uh, under sedation. The doctors say he's got a fractured skull. What are you doing here? What's happened? Um, do you know this man? No. It's the bloke from this morning. From the school? Do you remember what he was saying? I just thought we shouldn't have come back. Is that all? It's that Stacy girl, isn't it? She's been saying stuff about that. Actually, you know, we spoke to Stacey this morning. She says she's never blamed you, Dad, and she still doesn't. Yeah, right. That's true. Someone does, though. Otherwise, he won't be here. And you lot haven't got a clue, have you? Carlton, wait, Carlton! Let him calm down, yeah? This must be really hard for you. For both of you. Carlton was happy in North London. We made friends there. The last thing we should have done was come back. Did you two disagree about returning? It's made things difficult. How's Jermaine? You moved twice in ten months and see how stressful it is. And how did Jermaine feel about it? All he could see was the money running out. Was there no other option? None that he'd listen to. Besides, he had his own reasons. Sorry. Excuse me. Yep, go. Yep. Okay. Right. Okay, well, we're all in Iceland. It's in Hugh, but we can be there in ten minutes. Yep, bye. No sign of Matt at the flat, but Uniform have got a work address for him. Hiya. Good afternoon. I'm DC Fletcher. This is DC Masters from Sun Hill. We're looking for Matt Gilbert. Is he expecting you? Not exactly, no. That's Stacey. Hey. No, he's gone off for a test drive. You should be back soon. That woman just leaving, was she here to see Matt Gilbert too? Yes. Okay, thanks. For a minute and think about what you're saying, all right? She cleared your dad in court. So why does she want to see him hurt? That's the truth. I've only ever defended him. You're a liar! Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. You've breached the peace. You don't have to say anything. Right. But may I hold me defence? Did he hurt you? not make some questions, something you like to rely on the court. Stacey, did and if you, you do say, maybe give it an evidence. What happens now? We have to take some details down before we get you interviewed. 
didn't mean to scare her. I just wanted to talk to her. Well, I'll call your mum. Hope we can get this sorted out as quickly as possible, all right? Am I going to get locked up? That's up to Stacey. Go on, Brooke. I don't want that boy charged. Are you sure? Yeah, he's clearly been through a lot. He's just trying to stick up with his dad. All right. Sorry to have to ask you this, Stacey, but, um, who's Matt Gilbert? I saw you driving away from the car showroom earlier, and, uh, I know you were there to see him. He's my boyfriend. We first met about ten months ago. He wanted to do something for me, a treat, you know? Matt's showroom was offering a deal, 500 quid to hire a Porsche for the day, and, uh, <laughs> when I do love a fast car. He asked for my number, and I thought, yeah, why not? Does he know about what happened to you? Yeah, but I only told him last night when I found out Jermaine was back. I've got a friend whose daughter goes to Dean's game. She saw him drop his boy off. People talk, you know, I didn't want Matt finding out secondhand. Mm. Sure. Where's your milk? How did he take it? Not well. What exactly is the best way of handling news like that? Why didn't you tell us about him before? We came round earlier. It threw me. You know, I started to wonder if maybe Matt had gone after Jermaine. So that's why you went to the garage, yeah. is it? Yeah, I wanted to ask him myself. Why would he do that? I mean, you've said all along that Jermaine's innocent. Matt thinks he's a reminder of what happened to me. I can't continue to move on if he's around, which is stupid because I'm fine about it. OK. So where's Matt now? Well, he should be heading back to the showroom. He's only out having lunch with the client earlier. Supposed to be at school. Yeah, yeah, I just saw a call from CID. One of our kids is down here. Carlton Brooker. Yeah, he's having a day of it. I thought I'd better talk some sense into him. Ah, it's good to see you taking such an interest in the welfare of the kids. Yeah, yeah, on that note, Mum, um, how long do you see me down at Deansgate for? Safer neighbourhoods team will replace you eventually, but no word of when yet. Well, that's cool, whatever, yeah. Don't tell me you're actually starting to enjoy yourself. Yeah, well, keep that to yourself, Mum. Got a reputation to maintain around here. Hey. Do you know how much worry you've been causing your mum? How do you even know where to find Stacy? She sent Dad a letter after the trial, thanking you for giving evidence. I just at the top. You read this and you still think she's got anything to do with your dad's attack? She must have. Loss has got a reason. What exactly did your parents tell you happened? That this woman was attacked. Dad was there, didn't do anything. They helped put away the bloke who did it. That's all they told you? All people keep telling me is that he did nothing wrong. Everything's gone wrong since that night. I had to move away. Now Mum and Dad just argue all the time. How bad? Really bad. Sometimes it feels they're only together because of me. None of this is your fault, Carl. I'm sick of hearing that too. Carl, what I'm It's not my fault. It's not Dad's fault. It's not Stacy's fault. If it ain't anyone's fault, why is this happening? Tell you what, I'm on that test drive, sir. Right, you have a coffee. I'll see you in a minute. Oh, fantastic. Do you know how much one of these costs? Uh, huh? Do people not do subtle? You Matt Gilbert? Yeah? Can we have a word? What about? Jermaine Brooker. He's in hospital with serious head injuries. Oh, well, you think I had something to do with it? Look, we'd like a chat, OK? Now we can either do it voluntarily or we can do it formally in front of all your customers. All right. I haven't attacked anyone. Stacey told me about the conversation that she had with you last night. Oh, and you just think I lost the plot because of that, do you? Well, stalking someone at someone's school is a pretty good definition of that, yeah. Look, since Stacey and I have been seeing each other, there have been a few things that just don't quite make sense. How do you mean? Well, she's chirpy enough on the outside, but... underneath, she's a little more complex. She's a difficult woman to really get to know, you know? I thought it was just me, but then last night when she told me what happened to her... Oh. You realised that it wasn't? Hmm. Typical bloke, eh? Always 
instant the world revolves around us. The thought of something like that happened to Stace cut me up. You know, she doesn't see herself as a victim. Neither should you. I know. But it kills me to think that she would have to go through something like that on her own. Why don't you go to Dean's get to school this morning? How can she move on with her life when he's living on her doorstep? Huh? A constant reminder of what happened. It just ain't fair on her. So you were warning him off? Yeah. Stay says she don't mind, but I know she's just putting her front up. Bloke should have just stayed away. Where'd you go when you left Dean's game? An appointment with a client who wanted to take a test drive. Then what? Back to the showroom. Look, my issue with Jermaine ain't personal, all right? I just wanted him to understand my point of view. And why would I want to attack him? That's alibi checks out, Governor. The customer who says he was with confirmed it. Which means we still don't know who attacked Jermaine. Or who drove the Brookers out of their home last year. What, was this harassment investigated? The incidents were reported, but the family didn't want to know. Right, well then I suggest you go back over at the fine tooth comb and see if there's anything in there that can link them. What about the search on Jermaine's flat? Did that turn up anything? Nothing yet, Mum. Friend Six is still working the scene. <sighs> well, there must be a weapon somewhere. These injuries are far too severe to have been caused by a fist alone. Joe, speak to Socko. I'd like some indication of what we're looking for. What about the door-to-doors? Yeah, uh, a neighbour said she saw a brunette leaving the Brooker's flat around 10.30 this morning. Now, just after that, Liz came home from shopping. Five minutes later, the same witness said that she saw Liz storming out. Where's Liz now? Still at St. Hughes. She's worried sick about Carlton. I was wondering what you wanted me to do with him, Mum. Stacy doesn't want to press charges. Well, in that case, he's free to go. If you're happy that he's calmed down. He's just upset. Sounds like his parents' marriage has been pretty rocky over the past few months. Could Jermaine have been having an affair? Well, we know a woman visited the flat. Yeah, we know he's been having problems with his marriage. Liz goes out, five minutes later, his has been on the side, comes in. Liz comes home, catches a man. Yeah, exactly, the next thing she storms out. I mean, there's no sign of false entry to his flat. To me, it adds up. It's worth looking into. This woman's a witness and we need to speak to her. Millie, do you have a fuller description? Yes, Mum. Kezia, yeah, okay, see what you can do to identify her. She drove there, maybe the CCTV picked her car up. Joe, Will, back to Brooker's flat. See if there's anything in Jermaine's possessions that can identify her. Nate, can you talk to Carlton again? I mean, maybe he knows about this, yeah? See if you can get him to open up. Where's my mum? Still at St. Hughes with your dad. Does she know I was arrested? Yeah, she's worried about you. She didn't want to leave your dad's side. I'll take you to see him now. No, don't want to go. I can't sit around that place. It does my head in. I'd rather go back to school. Your mum needs you, mate. Is there something I should know? It's not important. So there is something. Listen. We need to find the person who did this. So if there's anything you know, anything at all, you need to tell me. It might be important. Is this just between us? I promise anything, but if it's not relevant, I guarantee it won't go any further, all right? Mum thought Dad was having an affair. She told me last week. She's thinking of moving out. I'm sorry. Wanted me to go with her. Did your dad know? It feels like I've been tricking him. That's why I don't want to go to the hospital. I feel really guilty. Hey, hey. You've got nothing to feel guilty about, all right? Why doesn't my mum feel the same way as I do, then? She probably does. She hates him. When you told me what had happened this morning, first thing I thought... What if it was my mum who hurt my dad? Could be from a wine bottle. Yeah, we need to get the blood analysed. Could be Jermaine's, could be the person who attacked him. So let's get uniform to widen the search and maybe check the drains. Anything inside? Come and take a look. It could be nothing, but... What am I looking at? Well, I'm guessing this is Liz's wardrobe. Yeah. The main stuff is in this one. So someone's left in a hurry? There's no perfume, no makeup, and only one toothbrush in the bathroom. So I'm guessing Liz has already left him. Hello again. Something happened. The 
could say that, yeah. We've just been to your flat. Looks like you left in a bit of a rush this morning. Uh, I don't understand. Why didn't you tell us you and Jermaine were having problems? <sighs> oh, come on. You can't think I did this. I love my husband. Why would I hurt him? Because he's having an affair. Not until PC Roberts. Liz Brooke, I'm arresting you on suspicion of GBH. You don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned, something you lack rely on in court. And if you do say, it may be given in evidence. <laughs> I haven't done anything wrong. This is crazy. But Liz, why did you tell Carlton that you're planning on leaving Jermaine? Because my marriage has been under a huge strain. I'm not denying that. But why today? After everything that you've been through? We had a row. About what? About the affair? We know a woman visited Jermaine this morning. Do you know who she is? Her name's Monica. Monica Carey. They work together. Where? A recruitment firm in the West End. They're just colleagues, or...? Is there something more? If you're asking if they're sleeping together, then yes, they're sleeping together. She's been emailing him and texting him for weeks. I know, because I've looked. But I thought oh. you'd only recently moved back. We moved to North London, not the Scottish Highlands. Jermaine kept his job on. And now I know why. Are you certain about that, Les? <laughs> I saw them together this morning. He said he was going for a run. <laughs> Turns out he was lying. How'd that make you feel? Angry. Nikki. Yeah. I've been going through those investigations done by uniform last year at Jermaine's flat. Now, a couple of the witness statements mention a white van. Now, someone saw it the night that the Brooker's front window got smashed, and someone else saw it when the car was vandalised. The Brookers didn't want to know, so the investigation went no further. Who did it belong to? That's the thing, a plumber in Solihull. Did you ring him? Yeah, I can't get through, and his wife hasn't been able to get through to him either. Details? Yeah, these are the numbers. You can keep trying them if you like. I'm going to see what the DVLA has in the white van. So what happened when you found your mind with this woman? They were in the kitchen, talking. The point is, he said he was going for a run. Maybe he changed his mind. Or maybe it's just a little lie. There's only so many little lies you can take. They add up. And they keep adding up until you stop believing a word. Well, this morning, I stopped. And what did you do? I told him the marriage was over. And I packed my bags. And what? I went to work. I was going to stay at my sister's tonight and sort it out tomorrow. It sounds like a big step, considering you only found your man talking to her. I've spent nearly a year defending him, especially to Cotton. And all that time, I've wondered if he's told me the truth. Because if he lied about going for a run, then he's lied about Monica. And if he's lied about Monica, then... Did he lie about Stacy? Was he really drunk that night? Did he really pass out? Liz, forensics completely cleared him. But what really went on in that pub? Why did they all go back to the same flat? Why did we get hate mail and bricks through the window? Somebody thought he did something. And I keep asking myself over and over. Those questions don't get quieter. They get louder. <laughs> But I didn't hurt him. I couldn't. It's the father.
father of my child. Do you believe her? Well, I'm not convinced. There were no signs of forced entry at the flat, and Liz had plenty of time to assault Jermaine and dispose of the evidence. Well? Well, she had a motive, but we didn't find a weapon, any bloody clothing, or anything that directly linked her to it. What about this Monica Carey? Well, I think she's in the clear. A neighbour heard Liz arguing with Jermaine after Monica had left and before Liz had walked out. Have we spoken to her? She's denied ever having an affair with Jermaine. Said they were just close mates. Love, I've looked into those uniform call-outs at the Brookers' flat last year. A van crops up in several of the statements. I traced it back to a plumber in the West Midlands. Does he have an alibi for this morning? Yeah, he was on a job in Birmingham. Thing is, it turns out that he used to live in Canley. He only moved to the Midlands last summer. He's never heard of Jermaine, but before he left, he was based out near Bevan Park. That's where Stacey Hayes lives. Yeah, he bought the van around nine months ago. Do we know who from? I've just checked with the DVLA. See for yourself. Liam Hayes? Stacey's brother. You must be pretty desperate to think I did this. Why is that then? Well, Stacey's got no problem with Jermaine, so why would I? Well, if that's true, why did you send him abusive mail last year? Hmm? Make anonymous phone calls, graffiti his property, throw bricks through the window. I didn't. We traced your van, Liam. <laughs> Big deal. It's been a pretty tough year for you, hasn't it? My sister was raped. What do you think? Well, that probably threw up a lot of questions. How can I help her? What can I do? What could I have done? You were at a stag do on the night of the assault, weren't you? So? Stacy phoned you for a lift home, but you turned her down, right? Now, either you'd had too much to drink, or... you were simply just enjoying yourself too much. Stop it. The fact is, when your sister needed you most, you weren't there for her. This is all just hot air. You think I've done something, then you prove it. Hey, I got your call. What the hell's going on? They're searching the flat. I'm not exactly expecting to find. Evidence. So I've cooperated with you right from the start. They've been honest. I've relived stuff that should have stayed in the past, and you come back and you do this. Why? You've got some. Okay. Do you want to come with me? Okay. Is this your brother's vehicle? I'm sorry. We think it's the assault weapon. DC Fletcher has re-entered the room. We found a blood-stained lamp in the back of your van. Matching the glass fragments, we found at Jermaine Brooker's flat. We know you did it, Liam. Just tell us why. In court, Jermaine said he was semi-conscious on that sofa, not asleep. It's a small detail. So what? Well, you know what they say. The devil's in the detail. I don't know what you're getting at, but Jermaine didn't do anything. Exactly. He didn't do anything. He just lay there. Didn't move a muscle. Just lay there while your sister was being raped. And that's what's eating you up. The fact that he could have done something, but he didn't. If he was conscious, he could have done something. He wasn't drunk, he was scared. But Liam, Jermaine's toxicology report had him at twice the drink drive limit the morning after the rape. I doubt he even knew his own name that night. So you couldn't help Stacey, but neither could he. Whatever you might think. Now just tell us what happened this morning. Stacey told me about the rape last night. He took it really badly, and that upset me because I know how much it means to her. And you felt guilty all over again. I know what Jermaine said in court, but I wanted to look the guy in the eye, hear it out of his own mouth. I rang work, I got a mate to cover for me, then I went round there. And how did Jermaine react? He said he couldn't remember anything. 
said that if he could have helped Stacy, then he would have. He was, he was just being so reasonable, like he wanted to be my mate. He offered to make me a cup of tea. Something just snapped to me, I saw the lamp. Picked it up, swung it. Thought I killed him. Hey. I got good news. Your dad's awake. He's gonna be okay. That's gotta be worth a smile, ain't it? Probably have to move again, won't we? Don't be so sure. It wasn't your mum who attacked him. We've got the guy who did it. Doesn't change the fact that she was going to leave him. Doesn't change the fact that he was having an affair. You've got to give him a chance, mate. Hear his side of the story. Look, I don't know if your parents are going to make it. Sometimes it doesn't work out. My mum and dad divorced when I was younger than you are. But the world didn't stop. He still took me fishing each week. Is that supposed to make me feel better? I used to hate fishing. Look, I'm just saying. Carlton is your dad. He's the only one you got. And right now, he really needs you. So what do you say? I'll take you to go and see him. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hi, I'm DC Walker, Sun Hill. How are you feeling, Jermaine? Like an elephant's been playing football with my head. Well, you suffered a fractured skull. You're lucky to be alive. I don't know what got into him. Liam Hayes. He seemed fine. He blames himself for what happened to Stacy. Seems he took it out on you. We also think he's responsible for the harassment you suffered last year. He's in custody now. Where's Liz? She's on her way. I thought she'd left me. She seems to think you're having an affair. There is no affair. Monica's a friend, and I've really needed someone to talk to this year. I know how it looks, but Liz doesn't seem to talk about these things anymore. Dad. Carlton. I'm not pleased to see you. I thought I'd lost you. I'm sorry. I'm just glad you're here. <laughs> um, we'll need to take a statement from you, but when you feel well enough, Jermaine. Jermaine Brooke is going to be okay. Good. That family could do with some stability. Mm. Don't need another kid ending up in foster care, do we? What? Just saying. I think I might be getting the hang of this teenage angst. Nate, these are children's lives you're talking about. Didn't mean it like that. Is that what your concern is over Carlton? Getting rid of your guilt over Jimmy? No. Not at all. You're overreacting, Becky. Thanks. Look, I just came down here to see if you have that drink. You know what? I might give it a rain check. I've got Jimmy to deal with, and he deserves my time. Don't you think? Hey! I uh, didn't get a chance to thank you for this morning. Oh, it's fine. Nothing quite like a classroom full of out control kids, is there? Yeah. You okay? Yeah, yeah, it's just, um... It's just been a long day. You look like you could do with a drink. Definitely. Is um, Becky coming out to play? No. No, she's with... She's with Jimmy Ryan. Oh, well, I'm not. If you fancy it. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Next time on The Bill. Whatever this is, it's not about petty theft. No, no, no. Becky's in hospital. 
And you not giving me a name makes that person more of a suspect. There's no way Jimmy would hurt Miss James. Jimmy Ryan. Stop lying, Jimmy. And I don't have nothing to say to you.